Hello and welcome to this edition of Barbara Jordan News. I'm Ronnie Mutica. And I'm Esmeralda Moreno. We hope you all have a good week of star testing. Here's something you can look forward to in the next week, Easter break. For the holiday, there will be no school this Friday, April 14th, and Monday, April 17th. We hope you have a great Easter break. Do you have any plans for Easter? Robert Jordan News team member Peter Bruno asked a few students what their plans are. Easter's a few days away. I'm going to be talking about to some of my classmates about it. Let's go. Uh, what do you like about Easter? <laughs> Opening Easter eggs and the surprise of looking in my Easter basket. My favorite part about Easter is saying happy Easter to my mom. Okay. What are you going to do on your day off? I'm going to sleep. Yes, we are going out of town to El Paso. What are you doing for Easter? I'm going to eat candy. Take naps with my mom. And, open, and when it's Easter, open Easter eggs and have fun. No, Cordell, <laughs> what's the best part about Easter? Mm, I would say spending time with family. What does Easter mean to you? Well, it means to me that we get like to have this really big feast, so it's just all my family's together at this big table, and it just makes me feel welcome. That's it. Hope you have a happy Easter. I'm, this is Peter Barano, reporting for Barbara Jordan News. It has been a very warm and windy week, and it doesn't look like that's going to stop anytime soon. Barbara Jordan News team member Damien Quintana looks, uh, has a look at what's happening outside. We've seen a little bit of everything this week. It's been hot, it's been cold, it's been windy and stormy. But what about Easter? Civia 7 Authority team has your answer. Easter egg hunting, well, I think it could be a little soggy for the Easter Bunny uh, this year. It does look like we'll see some scattered showers, thunderstorms uh, throughout the weekend uh, of Easter. And so there, there may be uh, some wet soils, things like that. The good news is it's probably not going to snow. Uh, so you, you won't have to, you know, pull all the indoor activities uh, inside. But I do think there may be some thunderstorms across parts of the area, especially uh, in the days right around Easter. It might be uh, the day after the day before, but we'll be watching it closely. It's a great day to go outside. And this is it for Barbara Jordan Weather, and I'm Damon Quintana. Here's something else you should know about this lake. This Wednesday, April 12th, all kindergartners will take their milestone pictures. Be sure to smile big. Every week we're highlighting a Barbara Jordan teacher we love. This Hi. Hello, I am here with Miss Laster, and I'm going to ask her a few questions. What is your favorite subject and why? I love science because I really love animals and learning all about them. Okay, there you go. What do you do outside of school? I drive my daughter all over Odessa and Midland, and when I'm not doing that and I finally get to be home, I like to watch my Netflix shows. And what do you like about teaching? I like getting to watch all of my students learn and conquer new concepts that they never thought they would be able to. Bye, my name is Brandon Lambert. I hope you had a good news. Parents, here's a story for you. Our school district is making it easy for you to stay up to date on everything happening in the classroom. It's called Parent Portal. Barbara Jordan News team member Alexia Anaya shows you just how easy it is. It's a real tool that all parents should sign up for. It is called Text Connect Parent Portal. All you need is a computer or your phone. With the click of a mouse, parents have access to their students' grades, attendance, and even registration information. There's even a phone app for it. You have immediate access to what we're doing 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. All you have to do is ask the school for username and password. Reporting from Barbara Jordan News, I'm Alexia Nye. <laughs> That's all for this week's edition of Barbara Jordan News. We'll catch you next week. Hope you have a happy Easter. Oh, bye. Bye. <laughs> bye, people. See ya.